Hey guys, this video essentially is an introduction to trusses. Um, we're going to be looking in this video at the degree of structural redundancy and then we're going to be looking at methods for solving statically determinant trusses. So first of all, st uh, degree of st statical redundancy. We essentially are going to be having three types of cases, okay? B is the number of members, R is the number of reactions, and J is the number of joints. So, when the number of members plus the number of reactions equals two times the number of joints, it's statically determinant. All this essentially is saying is that we have the, um, a certain number of unknowns and a certain number of equations, and therefore we can solve it. The second case is when B or the members plus the reactions is greater than the number of joints. This means we don't have enough equations for the amount of unknowns we have, and therefore it's statically indeterminate. So we can't solve it using statics. The last one is when B plus R, so the um, members plus the reactions, is less than twice the number of joints, and we call this a mechanism. So just three very quick examples just to show you this. So we have a structure like this. The number of members is five, one, two, three, four, five. The number of reactions is three. We have a roller and a pin support, so that can handle two and that can handle one. So two plus one is three. And the number of joints is one, two, three, four. Okay. If you were to work out B plus R, it would be 5 plus 3 or 8. 2J is 2 times the number of joints, which would also be 8. And therefore, B plus R equals 2J, which means that it's statically determinant. This case over here, we have a truss like this. It's four members. There's three action, reactions because it's a pin and roller. The number of joints is 1, 2, 3, 4. If you were to solve it, you would find B plus R is 7 and 2J is 8. B plus R is less than 2J, so 7 is less than 8, and therefore we call this a mechanism. The last case is when we have um, a system like this, where B is 6, R is 3, and J is 4. So number of members is 6, reactions is 3, and J.